Hi, it's Bill Coney for Straight Circle Martial Arts. This is how to punch the body. As a subscriber leave a comment the other day asking about how to punch the body. So I figured I'd cover it. Body punching is really difficult. That's why most people don't do it. That's why most people headhunt. Because hitting the body's hard. You know, I did full contact karate when I was younger with no gloves to the body. And we would beat each other for freaking long periods of time. And it's amazing how much punishment the human body can take. But if you're gonna do it, you should understand how. The human body isn't flat. So a lot of times you have to be careful how you hit it because you won't get full power into the body the way you hit it. So what you wanna envision is when I hit the body, is I wanna go from the deepest part through. So if I hit him here, I wanna come out here. I don't wanna hit him here and come out there because it doesn't really do much. Same thing with this, if I hit him here, I want to come out on the back side over there, like draw a straight line through his body. If I hit him here and I go end up like this, I may hit him, but I'm only getting part of him. So when you hit somebody in the body, you want to go through them all the way into the body. You have to envision this. It's not exactly like this, but I want you to see it as almost like a triangle. Because the body tends to be a little round in the way it also moves, if you hit the body and you see like an angle like this, and you hit on that angle across the body, say I hit here, what's gonna happen is it's gonna skip off. It's always gonna skip this way. What you always wanna envision is you hit the flat spot, because this is where your surface area is. So if I wanna hit this side of the body, I wanna be hitting in that way. I don't wanna be hitting this way. I can't tell you how many times I watch people spar in class and they swing and they hit and they graze people because they don't hit them in a way that goes solid and deep into the body. Always envision it like this, where you want to come that way into the body and not this way on either side. Hitting the body, you got to keep in mind that there's not as many areas to hurt as most people think. You know, the chest is a fairly well protected area. You hit them in the chest, it hurts, but it doesn't do too much. And most people in the gut, it really doesn't do much either, especially if they're really fat, because it's not doing you any good. By the way, if you ever want to hit a fat person, hit them on the shelf. So you gotta envision like fat people, they have like the shelf there. If you can hit down and stick it on the fat, right in the solar plex, great shot. Realistically, when you're hitting the body, you're trying to hit organs, right? So if you kind of cut the body through the middle, you have your liver, your spleen, your stomach, a little higher you have your heart, your lungs and that kind of thing. And that's kind of the general, your kidneys going around the back. So when you're hitting it, you almost have to pick the middle of the body where you want to hit. Don't be hitting down here and don't be hitting up here. It doesn't do too much. Other targets going down to the body, if you really mean it. In the old days, you would see karate punches like this, right? And it makes sense because the bladder's there and the bladder's a nice target. Problem with the bladder today is you got to remember everyone's wearing a belt. So I don't do a lot of bladder punching because you just got to figure you're punching metal and it's not a good day. But your other option down there is the arteries. If you're down there in the hips and you want to stick one in there, it isn't particularly nice either. That's why there's no hitting below the belt in boxing. It's not just the groin. It's the bladder, it's the arteries down here. You know, nothing nice down there. But if you can find a crease in that hole and you can kind of stick that hand into the hole, it does a lot of, creates a lot of pain. The problem people have hitting the body is they don't have good short power. Usually when people hit, they can get away with this to the head with this big fling like this. But we're inside throwing to the body. Most of the time, this stuff to the body doesn't do much. So it's hard for people to hit the body because they haven't developed the ability to come in and hit very short and very close. You've got to have that ability when you hit the body to get in close. Tactically, I'm explain just a couple things to the body. It's never a good idea to do this. Anyone who teaches you that, you're gonna get hurt. Cause he's just gonna punch me right in the freaking head every time I go to the body, it's not a good trade. If you are going to the body, there's, I kinda have a rule to this. Either I hit him and he tipped, and he exposed the body and he gave it to me, which gives it a nice easier shot. Or I have to be on an angle and he has to have moved his arms. So if he punches at me straight, and I've cut this way where I'm safe, where he's not gonna hit me in the face and I wanna come into the body, I'll do that all day. But I never come up to somebody when they're like this 
and come up and try and hit them low in the body and straight on. It's a dangerous thing to do. A lot of people force body shots. What they do is like they'll get to the side and they'll try to get around this arm and underneath it, which is really hard because, because, it, because it's covered. If you're gonna do body shots to the sides, liver, spleen, etc., you gotta make sure that either they've punched and opened up the hole or you have to create a hole to hit. Also, a lot of times it's just easier to go around it, hit them in the back, right in the kidneys in those areas. When you hit the body, like, there's always been this argument in martial arts between knuckle punching and hole fist. Knuckle punching is great if you're trying to hit a, a hole or a point. The problem with knuckle punching is that it doesn't have much surface area. And the less surface area you have, the less friction you have, and the more it tends to skip off the body. When you hit the body, because you're trying to kind of just compress the organs, it's not always necessary to hit with knuckles. I was always taught to hit flat feet, fist, whole surface area, and I want this whole fist to touch so that I get good surface area when I hit him so it's solid, so it sticks in there and he doesn't get the opportunity just to roll it off. When you are doing the body, you have to understand that you have to create space to do it. So if we, most people are not gonna have the luxury of punching out here to the body because you're just gonna get punched in the head because you leaned into it. Body punching is very close. To get in close, sometimes you have to create your own space close. This is a hard thing to do. What most people do to create space is they get in like this and then they reel back and they go like this. But when you're this close, you don't have that kind of time. What you have to really learn to do, which is difficult, but can be done, is to create space is look, I may leave my hand there, but sometimes I have to create my hips and my shoulders space so that I can create space with the body and still deliver that force without bringing the hand weight back. Because when I, you know, the closer you are, the less time you have. So if we're really, really close and I start making big motions, the odds of me getting hit are very high. So make sure when you're doing this, as you come in, say I come in like this, sometimes I have to watch, see how it flex the chest a little bit? and I load this hip, even though I leave this hand here, and now I can turn very solidly with that punch. The other thing I like to do, obviously, is I like to mix them up. Head, body, body, head. It doesn't have to be in a particular order, but you want to make sure that you're not focused on one target or the other. So if you get a hit and he leans or he just tries to go away from it, see how the body exposes itself? Now that's the time to hit the body. You don't start out just coming in and going like this. You know, it, it's just not a good choice. So always remember, if you're gonna throw body shots, you gotta kind of set them up a little bit. Because again, inevitably under fear, most people, you know, they cover. And if you think you're gonna get in there to hit that body, it's not as easy as you think. You know, years and years of sparring, you'll learn that real quick. You know, just slug into the body. You don't get all the shots you want. Also, people move. You know, you don't always get that. You're gonna get a lot of skip offs and misses, and that's is what it is. So that's why it's important you keep that flat fist getting close and stick that thing solid and hit through the body, point to point, go through them like a straight line in the thickest point. Always go thickest point through and try and stick that on. Now, there's interesting things with the body too. So you see a lot of styles go like this, right? Or well, they go like this. Most people don't understand why. When you hit a body, if you're really advanced, you can change the angle of the fist. A lot of people do this wrong. What they do is they do the motion and then they hit, or they do the motion and then they hit. That's not really how it works. When you hit the body, you wanna make sure it goes in deep. After it sinks, then you make the motion. Because the human body isn't great at taking multiple angles on things. So if I come in like this and I hit them flat and I come up after it goes in, now it affects the body. If I come in like this and I twist it after, or I twist it after, you see how his body contorts that way? Even if he doesn't move, if he's a stiffer guy, it's still gonna turn in there and it doesn't feel particularly good. So you'll see some guys that'll punch down and in. Like if I wanted to hit him, I'll do it here so it's safe, like down to the floor. So some guys will actually come in and down, which is different because it comes into the hips. But it's good to know all the angles. When you practice that slowly with your partners, you should practice not just 
sticking the hand on them. But you should also practice after you get the hand, where does it go? Does it go down? Does it go in? Does it come back a little bit? And eventually you'll learn how to stick the body really well. Body punching is a, it's a mix, right? It's part of your arsenal. It, you got to keep in mind that it depends. If you have a guy who's like this and he's talking smack and he's close and you can just get that shot, that's great. Sometimes you can do that. But if you're facing someone who's a little more covered, getting to that body's not as easy as you think. So it's a function of setting it up and mixing it in. It's like everything else. Down the road, you should also include legs. You know, high legs, low here, because you're a martial artist, not a boxer. And this way, you learn to take his mind off areas. One more thing on that too. Like, the brain is really powerful. And so if I told him to take this punch and he tensed up for it, he'll take it because he's, he's strong, right? But if I hit him in the head and his focus is on the pain here, this one gets significantly worse because the brain isn't really protecting the body at that point. Same thing with the legs, you know, you hit them low and then you come back in, that punch gets a lot better. So if you can take pain to another area, when you go to hit them with this one, it's significantly better as a punch. So don't be afraid to body punch. Be smart, practice it, but be practical about it. Don't come in, give your face up, don't come in on a straight line, practice angles practice directions, and practice setting them up depending on what you have. If you do that, your body punching will be a lot better. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit that notify button to get more weekly videos. And thank you to all the subscribers for helping this channel grow.